My name is Margaret Helen Robbins Stewart Beach. My father was living in North Battleford working for the Canadian National Railways as a fireman at that time. And my mother, uh, with not having an education, she worked in the Frisco Cafe on Railway Avenue right across the street from the uh, railroad station. And she was working in the kitchen, I guess, washing dishes. And my father used to go there with the railroaders to have their lunch. And he knew that there was an Assyrian lady that worked in the kitchen. And so he went to my grandfather and grandmother and asked for her hand in marriage. And my grandfather was quite willing because he knew that my father had a good job, but my grandmother just wasn't a little hesitant. But anyway, that's how my mother and father got, got together and got married. They were married in the Presbyterian Manse in North Battleford by a Presbyterian minister. And uh, then uh, they were, we were all raised in North Battleford, all born here. And uh, they lived together until my father passed away in 1939. My mother, uh, she was the best mother. Um, she raised a family over seven of us. And then my father died when, in 1939 when he was only 38. So she was left to raise six of us because my younger sister had, her older sister had passed away when she was five and a half. So she was left with six children to raise and for a woman that could not read and write, she had to make do for all of us. So she raised all of us, made sure we all got educated, uh, provided a home for us and we never went without anything. She made everything from scratch and always had a big garden and did everything that had to be done and she was a wonderful mother caring and she did the best she could with what she had. Oh, you can love them and then you can send them back to their parents. But what best thing about being a grandma is just watching them grow and uh, develop and how they're learning all new things and you're just amazed at how smart they are and the things they come out with and and uh, b great big words that they come out with and uh, and their smiles and they come and give you a hug and th little things like that are so so special I'm most proud of my children and my grandchildren and my great grandchildren it's just too bad that my husband didn't live to see any of his grandchildren my first husband bill I don't know, I guess it's because I lost my father when I was eight and a half, and uh, I grew up just with one parent, and uh, so you kind of, de you kind of uh, depended on your older brothers and sister to kind of watch over you. And so when I had my own family, uh, that happened with them. They were uh, very close with one another. Each one kind of took the other one under their wing and looked after the other one. and. If I was working, uh, they would look after one another and uh, cared about one another. They always have, and uh, still to this day, they they care. They keep in touch with one another all the time, and they care about one another. I got a ticket. My daughter Janet went in a lottery, and they picked. To her name and she got four tickets for the Grey Cup and she phoned me and said mom would you like to go to the Grey Cup and I said I'd love to and it's going to be in Regina this year so that I have a place to stay at their home and we got tickets to go to the Grey Cup we might freeze to death but it'll be once in a lifetime so I'm going to enjoy it I love I love football I never used to understand it and I used to ask Bob what do they do this for? Why do they do that? And I kind of got onto the game a little bit. And now I just thoroughly enjoy it. I've been to quite a few games at uh, Taylor Field. So it's lots of fun. He was very caring and very loving. Uh, he would come around and the, behind me and kiss me on the neck and give me a hug and or tell me that he loved me. and. Uh, Bill was just the op Bill wasn't like that. Bill was, 
he loved you, but he didn't show it uh, uh, like uh, in front of the world sort of thing. You know, he was more of a private person. And Bob, uh, he was just just a very caring. Yeah, they're each they're each uh, different in their own way. But I was lucky to have two men in my life that that I loved, and they were good to me, and uh, I'm thankful for that. I'm the only one that stayed in North Battleford, and I only lived two blocks from my original home, and it's not there anymore. They tore it down, but they managed to get the stained glass, one of the stained glass windows out of my mother's home, and they gave it to me for my 80th birthday, and it's still in the original frame, and I have it standing up on an easel in my living room window, uh, by the window there, and uh, it's so, so many memories when I look at that, because I was born in that house and then saw those windows every day while I... I was there till I till I got married in 1954. So uh, yeah, it's pretty special to get something like that because when you're 80 years old, you really don't need anything. But my children decided that's what they wanted to give me. That was the most wonderful gift that they ever give me. I think I'd like to tell the young people, my grandchildren, my great grandchildren, that it's important to remember. Uh, Remember your, where you came from. Always think of your parents, your grandparents, and, and try and uh, live a good life. Be kind to people. Be kind to people that are less fortunate than yourselves, and uh, never judge people. Um, just consider yourself. If you had to walk in their shoes, what would you do? Um, I think it's important to, when you make your way in life, to stand on your own two feet and. Try and make good decisions and uh, remember that your parents did everything they could and did what was best for you with what they had and you take it from there and do it what you have. God gave you a life and you take care of that life and you do the best that you can and make your, make your parents and everyone proud of you and I'm sure make yourself proud of, of what you've done with your life. And that's all you can do. Is, uh, just make the best of what God has given you and uh, just appreciate every day that you get and uh, be thankful that you've got your health and you've got your family and you've got people that love you and care about you. And you know you can always go to them whenever you want to talk to somebody. If you need help, you've always got family to talk to. There's always someone there that, that's got a willing ear and will listen to you. And always remember that Grandma and great grandma and mom love you and will always love you. And I'm proud of every one of you. And whatever you do in your life, I'm, I'll be very proud of you. That means I'm going fishing. <laughs>